Well, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. By that I mean probably nobody, but this is the moment that I've been waiting for because it's one of my favorite hunts of the year. Uh, Derek the Beagle Durham is in front of us. If you can look at that dust cloud in front of us, that's him. Anyway, we uh, try to meet up every single year for an elk hunt and this has come to this. He drew kind of a special tag here in Montana, so he researched it, did a little bit of research, and um, I don't know, we're gonna try to prospect some spots first. We're gonna head to this spot, give it a couple days, see what we see. If we don't see what we want to, he's got a couple other spots that he wants to go as well. So all I'm doing is I'm back, I'm being the caller, and just going to go have fun with my good friend. And as you guys probably have seen before, the shenanigans are going to be on top notch. It just, I can already see that happening. So, Jay Bone, what do you think? I'm psyched. Let's I'm go kill some elk. Let's go kill some elk. I'm psyched. It'll be good. Sleep with the lights on. I'm coming heavy with the fight song. those two campers. Yeah. We're gonna go up that other road, uh, check maybe, it or? Maybe we'll just go back down here. There was a look like kind of a place to camp back here. There's a few of them, I think. Yeah, yeah it was camp here. And, okay. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have this place to ourselves. Could be good, could be terrible. Yeah, well, 50-50. <laughs> you know what? I'm not afraid to find out. I think it's one of those things where we need to go in for a couple days. Because yeah. if we just day hunt this, we're gonna, we're gonna beat ourselves and, you know, don't you think? We can go in for an overnight trip like hunt for a day or two in there and you're just going to see what it is. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's going to just be exhausting if we go in just a couple miles and come back out rather than going and kind of venturing around. I don't know. Let's find a camp, look at maps and see what we've got. Yeah. yeah. But there's nobody doing it. Uh -uh. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay, so we finally got up to camp. We had to kind of jockey around looking for a spot. Got a spot, not a lot of people here. Good, could be bad, I don't know. So, but we are gonna put together our packs tonight, uh, get everything organized and everything, probably get up early and start hiking into this thing and doing some prospecting. So right now we just dropped the trailers and uh, got a little campsite here. Take out the canvas cutters, get some shut eye. Hopefully tomorrow is uh, Bugle Fest 2020. Is that 2020? It is. 2020, heck of a year. Man, tough year, tough break. Dirk's just dropped his trailer too. We are going to get some shut eye, put our packs together for tomorrow, and hit the ground running in the morning. Yeah. Or just walking slowly too. Well, maybe even with a limp. Yeah, hobble, maybe yeah. a hobble, yeah. <laughs> How's so, your ankle? It's got a lot better, good. a lot better, good. yeah, a lot better. I'm good, I'm good. I'm so we can start doing some karate. Yeah, I've, I've karate kicked a couple of trees. Yeah, good. Yeah. 
getting ready for the kumite. Yeah, a lot of people have called me uh, the uh, karate kid of my generation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe yeah, it. I, I believe it. Get the body of an athlete. Yeah, I do. I it's that. just kick, kick a whole tree down, and, and I can sing like a like a bird. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It's how, like how good? So, it's so many gifts. How, I mean, how good? That good. <laughs> that good. <laughs> Let's get some stuff together. Uh, we'll see you guys in the AM on this video. Well, we need to start reloading totes. It is the time to head in. Super cold this morning. A little chilly, which should be good for elk hunting. So. But we are going to get things packed up. We got some totes here and stuff that we got to reload in the trailer. And then we're going to try to take the bike. The plan is to take the bike, put the packs on the cart of the bike. But the problem is the packs are pretty good size. <laughs> so I don't know how many packs we can fit on the cart. We're going to have to figure that out. I don't have any bungees. I have to figure that out. Yeah, we'll have to figure a lot of stuff out there. But no, it's not bright, is it? No, it's not bright. <laughs> barely see it really accentuates my beard yeah though. it looks good it's not bad it's like fluffy like you can see dust come off of it at that <laughs> point so we're getting stuff put together here riding in hopefully we'll see we may just end up just packing it i don't know and um hopefully finding some milk today or tomorrow or the next day if we don't buy then we are getting out so good deal no one's around who knows we'll see what happens dojo if you will let's go to Shut her down. Lock it down. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's gonna be daylight here in about a half hour. <laughs> it's daylight. It's daylight. Uh, yeah. Time to start hiking, see if there's elk in this place. Kind of cool coming to a brand new spot where you've never been before. So, Cause you don't have preconceived notions of what it could be. So you're just like, eh, I don't know. We'll just go and hike and see if we can't find one. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. You ready? Good. There's, it's weird. There's no one in here. There's nobody parked at the trailhead. How about the bobber tree? Yeah, we got some bobbers. I don't know what's going on there. That's legit. Yeah. Man, it's pretty in here. <coughs> you ever heard him eagle? No. Legit. about two, two and a half miles in probably. Two and three quarter. Yeah, something like that, three miles in. Zero tracks, one old, old rub we saw, and zero bugles so far, so things are looking up really good. Dirk and I have got this idea that people are gonna come in here, the elk aren't gonna go in here, they're gonna be over the backside, so that's exactly where we're at. Over the top, some would say. Over the top. Best movie out there. I turn my hat. It's like a switch. It's like flipping a switch. Like flipping a switch. After we get that way. After we get that yeah. way. Yeah. I feel like Sylvester Stallone right now. You look a lot like him, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Same facial features. Body's different. I mean, I lo I'm a lot more cut than he is. I would say chiseled. Chiseled, yeah. yeah. Like a Greek god. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like the good Aphrodite himself. Yeah. I am a fitness athlete, so you fitness keep, model, fitness advocate. You keep your body guessing. I, all the time. That's what you have going for you. You call it muscle confusion, right? Muscle confusion. Yeah. All night here, we 
have problems. Gorgeous. We got. So we made it to the top where we're thinking about camping. We're gonna drop maybe drop our tents and sleeping bags and stuff like that and just stay light. Maybe just kind of day hunt a loop. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. However we want to do it. Just kind of just move around, stay mobile. I think it'd be the best. And then just come back here. I think if we bugle into these north facing timber pockets, you find know, something. get. If I have to get close to them, I bet across the canyon they won't answer. Right. But if we get in there and they're in there, we get in their space, maybe they'll answer if they're there. Private space. All the low country's private, guys, and Montana's notorious for the elk moving out of the high country into the private as season progresses towards, you know, rifle season in November. So I don't know, there may or may not be any elk. elk. <laughs> they, they may be some still up here. There may be none up here. So we're just gonna have to, we'll have to check all the boxes and make sure that we leave no stone unturned, but it still looks pretty good up in here. It I looks think. good. It looks there, really good. There hasn't been really a lot of bad weather, so I don't think they've probably moved out yet. No. We'll, we'll find feed. Them. We'll find them. Yeah. Just have to find one, right? Just one. Just Big one. one. Big one, yeah. Or a little one. 360. 390. Or three points. Yeah, 360 inch. Three, three sixty, 60 inch horns. Yeah. Which way are you guys hunting next? So I don't totally <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. No, you're good. Seeing anything at least? No. We just got up here. Did you? It's a good spot to stop. I got a monster buck down in here uh, probably three years ago or so. Oh really? Yeah, so there's good genes running in there. Is there a lot of elk around? I haven't seen hardly any elk out here ever. Ever? Yeah, I've seen maybe two or three cows. Huh. So, been and that's here. been on the other end. And you've been up here a few times? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, okay. usually when I'm riding this, so I'm not really looking, but. Right. True. Right. Hunted out here quite a bit. and Never only seen a few. I heard the other side that people are always talking about elk. Where are you guys from? Uh, from Oregon. From Oregon? Idaho, yeah. Idaho? What brings you guys out to just hunt out here? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, we have fun. Cool. Hey, be, yeah. be careful, man. Yeah, yeah. you guys yeah. too have fun. Absolutely. Be safe. Yep. Absolutely. Will do. <laughs> Good spot. Good spot. <laughs> like, yeah. Cool, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Good. Good. Two cows. Two cows. <laughs> You've been up here a lot? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. Oh, I've actually God. been riding it extra since the weather's been per awesome. He's been homesteading this for years. <laughs> and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be here all week. <laughs> uh, Dirk, what do you think, buddy? I think they call that a, a swing and a miss. <laughs> a swing and a miss. Beer time. Uh, I'm just glad we didn't like bushwhack our way up here yeah oh, no yeah. Kidding. at least no we walked kidding. on a nice trail that last half mile was a little bit steep yeah but, that was about it but <laughs> <laughs> all right well you guys have fun all you right just, you guys have fun he yeah. kicks her over and takes <laughs> off <laughs> i'm gonna go down through here i figured he, he was gonna go back out yeah, yeah that's what i figured I too no he's gonna, oh, no, he's gonna F where do you now want me to go <laughs> well okay, we came up one way like the good Lord giveth and the good Lord taketh away. <laughs> and we are, we made it clear up in here, sat down. Anyway, Dirk tells the story better than I do, but uh, yeah, the old passerby, a guy that rides motorcycles up here all the time says, uh, yeah, never hardly seen an elk up here ever. And I don't think he was joking. So we haven't seen a track. We haven't seen a rub. We haven't seen nothing. So we're just gonna, we've got other spots to go that we've, we've got pretty good intel in the past that are pretty decent so we are headed there so off the mountain we go three and a half miles down or however far we are in here i don't know but it's all downhill so it shouldn't be too bad but hey down we go good deal good deal good talk pretty good day real good day Good walk, guys. Nice Way to get 110, guys. Way to get your steps in, boys. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was worried about. Anyway, we are 
we've got another spot already in mind picked out. We're gonna turn and burn, go get the trailers probably, and try to get down to the other spot. It's not too awful far away, I don't think, before it gets too, too, too dark in the evening. So today was not a waste, but it was an awesome. I just gotta say it was that. a waste. Okay, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a waste. Yep, <laughs> plain and simple, plain and simple. There's a couple meal deer a long distance away. So the cool, the blessing and the curse, I would say, to what we're doing as far as picking a spot, throwing a dart on a map is what we talk about, you know, you'll hear us like, I think this year in this video is like, well, cross that one off. Didn't work. Yeah. So we are headed to a whole new spot now. Um, the cool, the, the, the neat thing is, it's like we have some people that are sometimes saying, hey, you should try this or you should try that. So we kind of take that all into consideration and then try to figure out a, uh, what's the word the I'm looking plan. for? Game plan. Trying to figure out a game plan. You Did you fart? No. It smells awful. I, it's got to be outside. I don't think it's outside. I promise you, I, really I, I would tell you if I did. I don't think it's outside. I, I didn't. Anyways. I smell too. So, I, yeah, I'm sure you do. Because you're sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we are trying to head to a different spot. Hopefully this one works. Uh, we're just looking for some bugle and elk. That's all we're looking for. It is October, what, 2nd? 2nd. Yeah, so it's getting late in the rut, and um, Montana, why we put this in the last uh, position, get some, Black Thunder. <laughs> Nailed it. Jinx. Why we put Montana in the last position is because a lot of times it seems like Montana is almost the later on the rut, but then talking to Dylan that uh, earlier that we hunted with, anyway, he had bulls screaming the opening day of season in September 1st, so who knows? It's always it's always a crapshoot. It's a... Uh, they're elk, right? They're just elk. So we're going to figure them out. We are going to capitalize. We're going to get one. So we got a lot of driving left. We will probably pick it up in the morning. But there's there's talk of possible river crossings. There's uh, a lot, lot of things going on right now. And um, anyway, Dirk's ahead of us up there. You can see the taillights. We're rolling hard at 80 miles an hour. He's moving. He's not. He's not joking around. Yeah, not even joking around. So that's what we got going on. That's what we got going on. Hoping for the best, uh, man. Sorry, I love to bring you guys just screaming elk every single day, but it's just not realistic. It's, it's not. Reality of it. It's just not what happens. So <sighs> tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully, we wake up on elk. We're just looking for a bugle. That's all we're doing. Chase a bugle. Just appreciate you guys staying with us, and just you know going through this journey with us. That's why we kind of. Uh, we kind of post it every day. So. Mule tails in the road. Uh, we've got mule deer in the road. Looks like Look girl, at him. Looks like girl deer. Girls, bunch of little ladies out for a stroll. Out for a little couple stroll. More there. There's a bunch over there. Anyway, that's okay. how we're gonna send them off, eh? That's how we're gonna send you off. That's that's all we got. We now we're headed towards no mountain ranges at all. So I have no we idea. Going. I have no idea where we're going. I'm following <laughs> Dirk. I'm hoping he has a better clue than I do because if you look way out there, you see some mountains way out there. There's some back behind us, but we're going this way, which, oh, look, there's, there's a mountain. Way out there's there. a mountain way, way out there. She's oh, out what there. do we got on the road right up here? It's a mule tail. Gotta be. Uh, yeah. Shoot a no. buck. Antelope. 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 Shoot a buck. Shoot a buck. Shoot a buck. Two of them. Oh, he's going to run her down. This morning is the morning. So we, uh, what was that? Geese. Honkers. <laughs> this ridge back behind me, we had a couple bulls bugle last night. So hoping after we get over that ridge, it's gonna be just rut fest mecca. That's the plan. We're just getting everything together here, trying to clean up the yard sale if you can see. It's, uh, yeah. big find last night we found one of Tyler's totes with a whole bunch of goodies in it so we just ransacked that <laughs> so yeah we're gonna be eating good today and tracking some elk down where is he going just checking it out 
what you got. Um, I'm not going to show you the exact coordinates of where we're at just because if other people want to hunt it later on, but yeah. So it's a block management deal. So <coughs> we did this a little when I came deer hunted last year. You got to sign in. So Dirk will have to put down his, his little code, his number that he is in Montana. That way, I guess they can get, I think it's what happens is I think it's privately owned, but then they block it off so you can actually hunt it. And then every time you sign in, I think this could be totally wrong, but I think the um, Fish and Wildlife give that landowner some money every single time someone hunts oh, really? it. I think that's the way it works, yeah. And I could be wrong, like I said, on that. But anyway, so Dirk's got to sign in with his with his number, with his ID number, and um, we're good to go. See? Oh, little fork. See? Little guy. You're in the back. wildlife out here <laughs> Un unreal that's way more wildlife than we saw in yesterday's spot yeah. so we're doing we're doing a lot better <laughs> we're doing a lot, a lot better, better already already so just glassing some long long distance like little planes and stuff there's a bull up on this we're gonna call it a mesa maybe i don't know a little flat up there and uh, there's a bunch of cows above it but it's so bright i can barely I'm sure it's a bull because he's out on the outside of the herd. And then there's a elk in between them. Yeah, but I, I don't know if we can hunt that right there. Can we, Dirk? You see him? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a big bull. It's gotta be. Yeah. Where'd your map go? Uh, the map's in the middle console. Man, that's a nice pickup. You know what? Jeez. Pretty good looking. Do you ride. know where Mesa is? Yeah, Mesa. <laughs> He's been hunting south, down south by the border. A lot, a, a lot, yeah. I actually learned Spanish in two weeks from doing that. With Babbel, from With, Babbel, the yeah. app. Ooh, yeah, in fact, the local PBS wanted to document They wanted to do a documentary on me. <laughs> Jelly smeared all over the back. <laughs> Jelly? Looks like it. Turn around. Grape jelly. But the thing is, I don't have any grape jelly. <laughs> That's what really scares me. That really scares me. We do now. 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 There's not a lot on that side. You already killed an elk. That dude come off your cooler. I told you those packs. Hey, whoa, easy. Easy. <laughs> May or may not happen. <laughs> now I'm gonna, will you check mine for George? <laughs> Is it <there> any? <laughs> Looks clean. I, I take care of my stuff. I'm fine. Yeah, you leave jelly all over your. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. That's you jelly. don't have any jelly. Your knuckle. Way, way across on a, a open, like a 
almost a field. But it's really weird in here. It's a little different than we've had it before. Real wide open. I think it's going to be a lot of fun if we can get on some elk. But, uh, but yeah, right now we're just taking day one and we're just hiking this whole thing. It's not super huge, but we'll put in, you know, six or seven miles probably. Just figuring, looking for sign, looking for rubs, trying to figure out where they're at. So it'll take a little bit, but you never know. It could happen just right around the next corner. You never know. Beautiful Sicilian skin and high cheekbones. High cheekbones. He's a beautiful man, okay? God must have been just really smiling when he made you. July 1st, 1996 was a good day. It was a good day. I told you I brought too much stuff. Oh my god. I told you I brought too much stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a homeless cash. You got half of it too. Get half a tent. Dusty, Dusty took my tube and my water. You have a tent city in your hand. <laughs>
They have got to be losing it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now what do we do? I think they're on a beeline. <laughs> For us. 100%. The hunters have now become the hunted. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're going to feel a little on edge. I just wonder if, like, there is a herd that is in here and like it's over there now, you know, yeah. they're all around together. Cause you saw that big bull yesterday or this morning walking back around. Yeah. I wonder if it's not a big enough area for two different herds. Maybe. I don't know if there's, yeah. maybe there's not a ton of cows. No. Looked like there's only like six or so cows over in there. The one this morning. We heard bugles last night yeah. in the dark, but maybe it was echoing across. Could have been a ricochet. Might have been those big old, you know, rock walls. Could have been. Might have been echoing off that. It could have been. Mm. What do you want to do? Let's just work our way back. Act like they don't, aren't here. Set up a perch and watch where those other elk come out. That's what I was going to say. At least watch where they come out over there. I don't think we'll have enough time to get clear over there tonight. No, just sit till dark and watch where they go. How they behave. I think. What they're eating. Where they're sleeping. I like to call it a food where source. Breeding. Breeding. Well, we made it out. Just before dark, we're gonna run around. We're gonna grab Dirk's rig real quick. Run back on top and go get my pickup. And just use that time with just the little daylight we have to look as far as we can, just to see if we can find an elk. I don't know. Dirk's talking about moving to north. Uh, almost by Idaho. No, tomorrow, maybe morning hunt. And then if we don't kill anything, bailing maybe and going. We're talking a whole new area I've never been to. It'd be fun. I just like seeing a new area, but we'll see about that. But we're gonna go do that. Uh, if we see any bulls, you're gonna see them right now. If not, we're going to get some food in our bellies, go to sleep, to get up, and repeat the whole process again. So we're having a good time. It's getting later in the year. Um, you know, we all wanna go home at some point, but we have a job to do. That's right. We got a job to do. And it's bringing you some awesome elk video content. We are going to not stop until we get that done.